and welcome to another episode of Crystal's Bites. I am Crystal Newman. Now today we are not in a formal kitchen, we're outdoors, it's a beautiful day and I will be chatting with Chef Michos. Now he'll be taking me through a menu that you can do out in the garden on a Saturday or a Sunday for your family or your friends. There's steak which is yummy and there's a coconut cream sauce which is even yummier which you might want to try. Come and tell me about the coconut cream sauce. So we'll be chatting with Chef Michos in just a bit. Welcome to Crystal's Bites. Thank you. Welcome to my home. Well, thank you very much for having us. Yeah. So, how mm -hmm. long have you been a chef? Let's start there. 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, in the mm -hmm. business. Okay. Uh, out of sheer passion. Okay. And um, I think I also discovered that I actually do have a skill. Okay. To go along with the passion. With the passion. Yeah. So um, you used to cook at home in the kitchen? Yes, I used to. Growing up here in this particular home mm -hmm. when I moved out. Mm -hmm. um, it's something I really love doing. Mm -hmm. uh, because, and I think I've mentioned this before, my love for food. Yes. To eat food. Yes. Considering what we're going to prepare today, mm -hmm. um, this is the one piece of equipment we're going to use. Oh. And because it's one piece of equipment, there's a particular order in which we're going to do everything. Do everything. But I can see we're starting with a salad. No science to it. Just dump your mm -hmm. lettuce in there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please feel free. Okay. Toss everything in there. So sweet corn now. Exactly. I'm putting everything in. Just toss everything in there. Okay. Right. So look at that. It looks beautiful. Fantastic. Yes. Very contrasty. Different mm -hmm. colors coming together mm -hmm. to create a very basic salad that is taking you all of 20 seconds <laughs> to put together to put together so we're going to do a very basic dressing all right mm -hmm. so what do we need some olive oil some olive oil this is very basic nothing crazy mm -hmm. okay just a bit of salt mm -hmm. some black pepper yes and lemon juice lemon juice mm -hmm. then parsley or coriander Whichever one you choose. Mm -hmm. I like coriander. Okay. That's so simple. As simple as that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And toss it toss in that there. together. And that's your salad. And we'll move on to the next thing. So we'll start okay. with the steak so we can put it aside to rest. Put it aside in the aluminium. Mm-hmm. Our veggies, which are green beans and carrots. Mm-hmm which was steamed earlier on. Yes. So we just toss with a bit of garlic. Put that aside. I love that you have the pre-cooked vegetables because if you're doing something outdoors with people, you also don't want to stay too, too long away too from long your away, guests, yeah. right? So, so mm -hmm. it's, it's a regular practice in our industry. Mm -hmm. um, there's a French phrase for it, which is mise en place. Mm -hmm. Everything in its place, mm -hmm. as natural as it can possibly be. Be generous. Mm -hmm, with your salt. With your salt. Because you're going to season one side. Mm -hmm. Seasoning one side is because it pulls the juices away. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. That's it. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. All right. It gets nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Again, if you can't do this at home with your bare hands, please don't. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're not because all ninjas I'm like Nichols. Sometimes it's... A little bit of splashing that goes on. Mm -hmm. Some good space between the steaks. Okay. Okay. Why is that? Uh, you know, sometimes when you're two bunch together, they begin to steam instead oh. of searing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how much time are we going to give to the steaks? Uh, depending on the way you like your steak. I like my medium. So if medium, medium well, or medium, it's about three and a half minutes each side. So what happens is, now they begin to seal. Mm -hmm. When we put them in the aluminium, because it keeps them hot, mm -hmm. then they tend to cook inside. Yes, yes. Now the trick about meat is if you are not sure about the readiness of your meat, then you can use a food thermometer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the internal temperature for a good steak should be about 150 okay. degrees centigrade. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another way to tell if your meat has sealed properly yes. is if it moves easily. So we both like our meat medium rare, mm -hmm. medium. Mm -hmm. So this is good to go. All right. 
getting hungry. Come outside, turn this down a bit. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be as hot for the next. Okay. okay. So Chef Michos is teaching us the tricks of the trade, all the nice little shortcuts with one pot, one pan, hot pan, should I say? We finished the steaks, yeah. and now we're going to the vegetables. We're going to do our veggies. Mm -hmm. We want to use the same um, olive oil that we've done before, mm -hmm. but now the pan is. Um, flavored with the juices from the steak. Yes, yes, yes. Not too much. Okay. Okay. And that's that. This is done. So just take this off. So that's all. That's you all. steam your veggies, then just a little bit of them. butter or olive oil, a little butter, bit of black oil. pepper, garlic. If you're going to use butter, then preferably salted butter. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to add any. Then you don't have to. Steak down, veggies Steak down. down. Veggies done, right? Mm -hmm. Pre-cooked potatoes. Mm -hmm. So these are just boiled. Just boiled. Mm. Just make sure this is hot enough, right? Good. Okay. Little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Just a spoonful of well, a spoonful or two of your tomato paste. Of your tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And just throw in your potatoes. Potatoes. So you want them nicely coated. It's nicely coated. That's it. And then parsley to garnish. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's These it. are the tricks of the trade that make food look so good. Exactly. And someone just sprinkles a little Color. something. Color. Mm -hmm. Color is everything. Yes. So you want to keep tossing them around so you also get all that lovely sauce on them and they're completely mm. coated. And they're completely coated. Right. Let's wait for that to get hot. Just a little bit. Nothing too Just crazy. Just a little, okay. Yeah. How did you even land on coconut cream? Like to I go said, with it's, steak? it's, it's um, because I like to create. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good with rice, it's good with fish. Slowly pop it in there. Don't mind the coloring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sauce. A bit of soy sauce. Okay. Wow. It's nice and thick. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. Don't let it boil too much. Okay. Okay, because it. So can't. you need it just to simmer. Can't. We're yeah. not trying to make butter here. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. So, so turn that down. Turn it down. Okay. Then, because everybody thinks that this is magic, <laughs> but just do that. Uh huh. And I'm going to go with both parsley mm -hmm. and coriander. Okay. Stir that again. I think you have to keep it moving. Yeah. That is nice. Okay. Mm, it's got the sweetness, plus a bit of salt. Yeah. No rocket science here. Make mm -hmm. a beautiful plate. Okay. All I'm going to do is help you cut this meat. Okay. The rest is entirely up to you. Please mm -hmm. note, I'm cutting against the grain of this meat. Yes. Because. But I can just see, looking yeah. at it, how juicy it is. When you cut against the grain, mm -hmm. it reduces the fiber. Mm -hmm. Shorter fiber means oh. more tender meat. Okay. There we go. All right. <laughs> What's the basis of this meal? Is it the steak? Is it the potatoes? Is it the veggies? It would be the, the steak. Cream? It would be the steak. Yes. yes. So we want it to, to be shine. highlighted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to get it a bit more stable. Spillage. Mm -hmm. Finally. So I'm going straight in for the steak, of course. The coconut cream is it's, it's actually sweeter than I expected. Yeah. But the savory from... The whole point was to keep it savory. Mm. That's why we did the black pepper and did the salt and mm. the soy sauce. Yes. I really want to taste the cooked veggies with the lettuce and the blueberries. Yeah. Tastes amazing. The contrast between the cooked veggies and, and the, the blueberries and the... Oof. Please, this is at home. Thank, well, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for sharing something simple because a lot of people think about food and they just think it's so complicated. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. You should never say you can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, Witabix is a complete meal. All you do is add milk and sugar. Right? Good point. So I'm going to finish my food. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Make sure you tune in to the next episode of Crystal's Bites. You never know what Chef Michos might have planned for us. Bye-bye. <laughs>